What's up guys, Black Horse there and welcome back to Tour de France 2020 for stage 15 of our Trek Sega Frodo playthrough on the 2020 Tour de France game on PS4. Today's stage is an announcement stage, the final stage between, uh, before the rest day, sorry, between Lyon and the Grand Colombier. An interesting stage that will see uh, two first category climbs in the middle of the stage and the finish, summit finish in the Alps, the first summit finish uh, in the Alps on this Tour de France, first out of three, I believe. Um, but today's stage, obviously, we're going to try and go for the win, but also we're going to try and maintain our lead on the general classification with uh, Vincenzo Nibali. Try to, uh, well, really, really make sure that the Squalor will be in yellow in Paris, and that comes with a good performance today on the slopes of the Grand Colombier. 181 kilometers between Lyon and the final climb. Let's get it. Alright, stages on the way, we're going to try something, we're going to try and send Edouard Tunes in the, the, the breakaway. Enric Mas is already going for a move, You're interesting. In uh, but yeah, we're going to send Edouard Tunes to try and get the 20 points at the infinite sprint. Uh, and then I was thinking about sending someone like Yuji Kone in the break, uh, if the break's supposed to like, go for, for the win. Um, but if I do that, I lose a crucial teammate in Mountain. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't figured Watch that out. out. All I know is that Edward Tunes will final sprint 700 meters until uh, the 20 points are granted and it will be without a surprise. Mike uh, Mike Tunes? No. Edward Tunes getting You've the 20 the points at the interview sprint. Well done. Uh, get in there, son. We've started goal. the uh, Grand Colombier on the western side uh, of the race. Buchmann got dropped. I swear Buchmann was in the breakaway with me. You're telling me Buchmann got dropped before Edward Tunes? Because if so, that's really peak. Like, really, really peak. Um, but Chikone is there to protect us. We've got a lot of riders being protected. Bokemolomus being protected. Richie Port is being protected. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that everything is correct. Why is Egan Bernal... Oh, there's a group. Oh, there's a group behind. Oh, we've taken control of Richie Port uh, because I'm slightly dropped right now. I'm uh, navigating 40 seconds behind the leading group. Uh, we've got Iguita and Tijbenut at the front, obviously they're going to try and go for the 10 it points given at the summit of the Grand Colombier. He's being distanced. Uh, no, Bernal is not getting distanced, let's, let's, let's be fair, he's not. However, Krovac is. Krovac is getting dropped. But come on, Richie, mate, I know you're better than this. Richie, I know you can come back on the group the ahead. I trust you and I trust jersey, your judgement. Juricci Kone is now dead. No uh, does that mean that Vincenzo is on his own? Vincenzo has Bauke. Standings. Okay, it's not too bad. Could I get Julio to protect me? Alright, Julio, take your gel. And now protect me. And let's try to come back on these morons at the front. Uh, they're only 20 seconds up the road. Like They're right there. They're right there. We should be able to make it. 20% gradient. Yeah, that, that's a bit peak there. That right there, that's a bit mad. Uh, is that Bauke that just died? Oh no. Oh no, Bauke. No, 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 not, not now, boss man. Not now. It's not what I want from you, blood. Genuinely not what I want from you. Oh, Vincenzo. Oh, Vincenzo. Oh, the squalor blew up. The first sign of weakness from Vincenzo Nibali here. He's got his teammates riding because in front first signs of weakness from Vincenzo Nibali. We can't really have that, can we? We can't have that at all. That is not good. Alright, it's time to do a, a big aero descent Reduce to try and come back. We need to gain 20 seconds on the riders right ahead. Boker, you better not block me in my downhill. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. All I can in uh, in this downhill. Come on, lad. Is it genuinely flat already? Nah, hell no. Nah. It's already flat. Now nah, you're taking the piss. You're taking the piss. The gap is one minute between the favorites. I literally the pressed the downshift on my uh, on my wheel like I was oh my uh, controller like I used to be playing F1. What's wrong with me? Uh, let me use the rest of my gel. Because at the end of the day, right, we are nearing the, the end of the downhill. Bauke's in my wheel. I don't know how about uh, Richie. Richie's 126 down. 
Okay, he's not too far down. The end of the stage is not he's far not off. too far down. Right, 10% gradient. This is where we can make our downhills. Come on, lad. Come on. Come on, Squalo. Let's get them. Let's get them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big catching up. Big, big catching up. Who's that? In red. Is that Tish Benoit? It is. It is Tish Benoit. Mad. But we're going to make the comeback Time on Fulsang Bernal. No, on the Roglic Bernal. Fulsang is still slightly up the stage. road. Let's see if we can keep on uh, on going and maybe try to get Jacob Fulsang. Uh, Fulsang is currently riding alongside Remco Venepoel as we slightly right hit the barrier here. Begin the ascent to the okay. Cordula Beach. It's not a full climb, so just... Is Richie going to relay? Richie... Uh, relay, not much, like a solid 80 to try and, uh, and, and do bits, to try and come back on the leading group. Alright, we somehow have, uh, we have a, a bit more of a full peloton right now. Uh, a group of 25 riders, but we're going to come back on Higuita and Fulsang with a kilometer left in the Col de la Biche. Come on, Richie man, I know you got this, right, I know you've got this, I know it's easy for you. I want some easy 10 pointers for uh, for Richie. Come on, lad. Slow tempo. Right, let's not be complete mental. Uh, there goes Sergio Iguita. We're going to try and follow the Colombian. See if we can stay behind him. And na now, go for our real move. Can we take some points? Nope. Iguita will claim the 10 points at he the summit. The sprint. Okay. Okay, 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 Here's okay, okay. Over the last I climb. see you. He greeted Tishbenut our minute 15 ahead of Richie Port as we start the downhill towards Ginez. Uh, we have a 20 second lead, 40 second lead over the peloton. Uh, they're, they're really slow down to uh, allow everyone to uh, get their breath back. I had to use, however, the second gel of Bauke Molema in Dicol de la Biche, which definitely wasn't something I had planned on doing, and it's going to be quite, quite um, tough to manage him in the Grand Colombier uh, because yes of course I want to protect Vincenzo my objective is to win with the Squalo uh, I was happy with with Bauke in P5 uh, and let's just hope for a sake that uh, well he can hold on at least to a sub 5 I think he's got a 4 minute gap with Richie and Richie is uh, currently having fun in this downhill portion as we go extremely wide in that corner um, what happened with Vincenzo? Why is Vincenzo now dropped? I don't know what happened to Vincenzo, but bo boss man, you better go back in that eating group. I don't know what you're doing, but forget immediately about it. As we once again run deep in the same corner with Richie Port. Uh, so I guess I just can't, can't take that line. I just, just can't do it. Uh, as we have to push the in that downhill to try the and make the, the comeback on the group up ahead. And they'll begin the uh, oh, the downhill is already finished here. for the lead riders. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I've made the comeback with the group. Main group, at least. Imagine dropping Vincenzo anybody in the downhill. Like, who, who, who was the one pacing? Who should I slap for being a dickhead? Well, I can tell you that this rhythm is absolutely nuts. Like, it's mental. We are 12k until the line in this Grand Colombier. And they're, they've been attacking since fucking K, like K1, not kidding. Or K1, like since the first K of the climb, they've been pacing. It's honestly nuts. It is not always a good it's idea. genuinely Too mental. In a uh, and and I mean, I'm trying to, to stick to this them. rhythm, trying not to like do anything dumb. As I believe that Julio Chikone completely exploding on the side of the road. Uh, Full song is gone, apparently. Nice one, Jacob. Also, uh, Vincenzo has a very low, uh, I think it's either morale or the, well, the the red arrow, or the arrow that can be green, uh, yellow, or red at the front at the start of a race, right? It's it's well and truly, uh, well and truly red. So I believe that's not a good sign. Also, we're gonna ask Richie to get his gel as well, uh, okay, because right now we've got a Danish rider to catch. As he's 22nd in the lead, and with the help of a teammate, Yunis Aguirre, who although looks like he's about to collapse and die for about a billion years. And everyone has been co up once again. Uh, we stand. 
attacks again from Jakob Fulsong this time it's a very good attack he's got a minute he has one minute on Vincent Sunibeli uh, Bernal Carapaz you know not Carapaz uh, Bauke Molema has been massively dropped which is a shame uh, Richie if you want to protect me just like say it in it like just protect okay, me actually it was more of an you. order rather than anything rather than like a a wish uh, but we're gonna try and come back now on a uh, on Jakub Fulsang I'm gonna keep on using our gel uh, get a, a, a little feed Thibaut Pino just exploded in the group um, yeah Molima is gonna take a big big blow today like he's going to lose a lot like, a lot a lot 10.45 uh, Pino could uh, jump him, uh, Richie might potentially jump him at this rate, I don't know. We'll see, but 6 kilometers, and I don't know if we're going to catch Jakob Fulsong. I don't know if we're going to get what it takes. Richie's dead as well, so that's not good. That's really not good at all. 1.8k, Bernal once again, for the group Bernal is once again 1 minute 50 behind Fulsong, sorry, 50 seconds behind Fulsong, my bad. Not 150. The red uh, the I'm front. gonna use my he red gel podium kisses. if I can. Thank you. Uh, we're trying to put a, a big, big rhythm before the finish. See what we can do. Maybe lose as little time as possible on uh, on Jacob Fulsang, who is the winner today at the Grand Colombier. Congratulations to the Dane. He's done a very, very good job and uh, he was by far the strongest today. We're going to come home in what will be second you position be with Vincent Lift your foot uh, if you don't want to Okay. Jacob Fusong is the winner today the Grand Colombier. He was by far the strongest and he genuinely deserves this win. Uh, and the comeback might be on in this final week of the Tour de France. Uh, hopefully the rest day will do good for my team. Uh, but nevertheless, Vincent Nibali is going to retain the yellow jersey of this tour. He should be around 310 now ahead of, uh, of the Dane. Points wise, Mato Trentin stays in green and Rich Support stays in the polka. Obviously again Bernal stays in white and will not be beaten by anybody on this tour. It's a perfect day. Well, I wouldn't call that a perfect day, boss man, because a perfect day would have mean I would have won. Uh, but you can see my condition not being good with intent, so I'll happily take 17 seconds behind Fulsong, make that 21 with bonus seconds. Richie Port will come in in 5th place, 113 down. A big loser for us today is 12th position, 13th position actually, for Bauke Molina, 3 or 4 behind the Dane. Uh, GC wise, what does that mean, you may ask? It means that we are still in the lead, 321 ahead of Fulsong. 5.03 on Roglic, 10.28 on Bernal. Molema is now 13 minutes down. Richie Port increases his lead on Thibaut Pinot in P7. Remco Venepoel, Yates and uh, Garen Thomas make uh, some positions in Porto du Moulin. Who dropped? Alaphilippe, Benoit and Valverde dropped a lot of positions today. Okay, 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 okay. Points wise, no, mountain wise, we are still well and truly clear in the green, uh, in the mountain jersey. We still have... Uh, is that 58 points we have double the lead or double the points uh, of Sergio Higuita sprint wise Tunes is coming back on Trentin now 24 points behind the Italian rider thanks to the instant sprint uh, early on in the stage Bernal is 8 minutes clear of Evenepoel Trek is still the best team and the most combative rider is currently Ben Hermans with uh, 744 kilometers is there anyone for my team yep Chico and Tom Schoens with basically the same amount of kilometers in breakaway. One kilometer uh, difference for the two riders. But that, nevertheless, will be the end of this episode of the 2020 Tour de France playthrough Trek Sigur Pedo. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. That would really, really mean a lot to me. If you're new around here, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so as well. Uh, follow me on my social medias. The links are in the description down below. But my name has been Blacko. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. What the mother man need feeding? I don't wanna go bombing. Them I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the 
pack in black and I'm on with the bass Snapping with a phone and dab I'll swap him out with a duster Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster 